Not only is it that, but it's also a kingdom of fight. So, the kingdom is marked by struggle and fight. And at once the Spirit sent him out into the desert, and he was in the desert 40 days being tempted by Satan, and he was with the wild animals, and the angels attended him. This was the example that our great God and King showed us. That as Ephesians 6 is going to say, this is not a battle between flesh and blood, but of principalities, powers, and of rulers of this dark age. That Jesus would come up out of the water, God would commend him, encourage him, love on him as he does us, but you know the very next thing that he did? He went out into the fight. Why? Because there is, a, there is a, an opposing foe that is not driven out of love. There's a foe that hates you and I. There's a foe that hates our king and his kingdom. And certainly, he hates his followers. And so if you think that you're just going to get through this thing unscathed, if you think that you're just going to sign up with Jesus and, hey, it's going to be all unicorns and lollipops, if you think, man, it's going to be easy sailing, let me tell you, the kingdom is marked by fight and struggle. We have a foe that hates us and that wants to destroy our family. He wants to destroy our lives. He wants to destroy our testimony. He wants to destroy our, our, the, 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 the message that we carry. He wants to turn us into, rather than carrying good news, we carry bad news. He wants to destroy everything. And what Jesus went out to do was to show us Hey, not only did I conquer the foe, but you can too. Peace, Jesus says, I leave unto you. In this world, you will have many a trouble, but take heart, I've overcome the world. That's what our king has done for us. Some of us here today, we are in the middle of fight. We're in the middle of it. We're like right smack dab in the middle of it. And I want you to know that you have a king that goes before you, that's fought the good fight that the battle is his, saith the Lord, and that he, he knows your struggle. And by his Holy Spirit will send and strengthen and encourage, and it might be a long, strung out battle. But listen to me, greater is he that is in you than he that is in the world. Amen.